Akara sent me their new TVOC air quality monitor, which shows you the temperature and air quality of a room and works with HomeKit. And today I'm gonna tell you my honest thoughts on this device. And we'll put it up against the Eve Room, one of the most accurate temperature sensors and do temperature comparisons at different times of the day in different rooms, along with testing TVOC using common household items to see if Akara or Eve is more accurate. If you just want to see how Akara compares to Eve, then go to this time card right here. It'll also be down in the description below and it'll take you straight there and the results are um, surprising so starting off with the design of this product on the front is an e-ink display to show all of the measurements it shows you the TVOC status which if you're not sure what TVOC is it stands for total volatile organic compounds which is just basically gases in the air from products like paint detergents and a lot more and long exposure to these gases can lead to eye nose and throat irritation and other health effects so it's good to limit exposure to these gases also on the front you see the quality of the air represented by leaves. The more leaves, the better. And you see the temperature and humidity in a room. On the top, there is a button, and if you double click the button, it will change between three different displays that shows different measurements. You can see the TVOC represented by leaves, just the temperature and humidity, and actual TVOC numbers with the temp and humidity on the screen. Each side, there are two holes that allow air in to measure the temperature, humidity, and TVOC in a room. It comes with an adhesive to stick to a wall. The back is also magnetic, but not nearly as strong as the Akara G2H camera, which can attach to my fridge, but the air quality monitor device can't. It can stick to the base of the G2H, but not the front or the side of my fridge. It works with all smart home assistants, so Google, Amazon, and HomeKit. But in this video, we'll just be focusing on what it can do in HomeKit. Now, an Akara hub is required for this product, so either a G2H camera, the M1S, or M2 hub. And it uses Zigbee 3.0 to talk to each other. Zigbee allows for a fast connection and helps to achieve the over one year battery life with two coin batteries. In the Akara app, you can see all the data and you can actually go into each one of these and see a graph of how things have looked over the past day, week, and the average temperature, humidity, and TVOC levels. The Akara hubs expose this device and all the attributes in HomeKit, but currently the G2H camera hub is the only Akara hub that does not expose this device to HomeKit. It still works in the Akara app, but not in HomeKit. Only the M1S and M2 hub will expose all the sensor data to HomeKit. So if you don't have the M1S or M2 hub, then this won't work in HomeKit. But hopefully this will be fixed soon. In the home app, we see the temperature, humidity, and current TVOC density are all exposed. If you use the Home Plus 5 app, it will show you the different levels of density that it can cycle through. Back in the home app, you can see the battery life of the device. You can use the temperature and the humidity sensor to create automations. So if a room reaches a certain temperature or humidity, then auto turn on a fan. Or if the air quality changes to fair, then you can have your lights change to red. All right, so we know that car can detect the temperature, humidity, and TVOC in a room, but how accurate are the measurements? Well, I put a car up against the Eve room, one of the most accurate temperature sensors to see how accurate they are, and compared the temperature, humidity, and TVOC. The first test I did was just with temperature and humidity, and then I tested it with the TVOC. So starting with the temperature test, I put them in different rooms at different times of the day to kind of get a feel for how a day could go. I first put each sensor outside for 30 minutes to recalibrate and to get everything reset. Then for test number one, I put them each in my living room for about 30 minutes at about 9 a.m. And starting off, the Akara sensor was about 1.2 degrees lower than Eve, and the humidity was about the same. At the end of about 30 minutes, the temperature of Akara was only about half a degree off, though the Akara humidity was a bit more off than Eve was. A few hours later, I did the same test, but this time at the hottest part of the day in my guest bedroom, which has the AC turned off since nobody is in there. At the beginning, they started out about 73 degrees each, and there was a 10% difference in humidity right off the gate. At the end, the Akara temperature went up about 1% compared to 2% with Eve, and the humidity percent went down for each, but more so with Akara. For the last humidity and temperature test, I put the sensors in my office at night to see what would happen, and surprisingly, Akara didn't change one bit. Eve went up half a degree in temperature and 1% in humidity, but Akara didn't move at all. So from the temperature and the humidity tests, Akara seems to be more comparable with the temperatures, but 
but the humidity can be close or way off. For the next set of tests, I wanted to see what happens whenever there is a lot of TVOC in the room and how responsive these sensors actually are. I used different common household items to test the accuracy. I used hairspray, cologne, and nail polish remover, which can all raise the TVOC in a room. And this is where Kara had the biggest issues. So before I started this test and in between tests, I set them outside again for about 30 minutes each so they could recalibrate and reset. I started off using hairspray and spread it all around the centers of both devices and let them sit for about 30 minutes to, to see what changed. And boy, we got some bad results. At the beginning, Akara and Eve had very similar TVOC levels. And within five seconds of spraying, the Eve sensor immediately dropped down to one TVOC level, indicating bad air quality. Not only did Akara's TVOC levels not drop after spraying, but even after 30 minutes of sitting there, nothing changed, which really surprised me. And this test had me wondering how accurate Akara is. Moving on to test number two with cologne. Almost immediately after spraying, both Akara and Eve dropped to one TVOC level, meaning bad air quality. I even got an alert from the Akara app saying that the TVOC levels were extremely high and out of standard. I received this alert over 20 times during the test, so that was a good sign to see that the app can alert you when TVOC levels are really bad. I didn't receive any kind of alerts from the Eve app about the air quality. Moving on to test number three with nail polish remover. This is where things got a little strange. I put some nail polish on a couple of cotton balls and then my finger slipped and nail polish spilled on a ton of cotton balls then added a little bit more so this room did not smell good at this point so this was going to be a really good test within seconds both eve and akara's tvoc levels dropped indicating bad air quality though akara went to two out of five whereas eve went to one out of five then later on in the testing the akara tvoc levels rose to four out of five while eve stayed at one four out of five means the air quality is pretty good, but nobody should be around nail polish for a really long time. The huge difference in Eve and Akara's TVOC levels had me really concerned about the reliability of Akara's sensors. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I like the graph in the Akara app that shows how the air quality has changed throughout the day and week, but the inconsistent measurements doing six different tests between Eve and Akara has me wondering how accurate the data is. Akara seems to be hit or miss with TVOC readings. Eve dropped to one TVOC level in all three TVOC tests, whereas Akara dropped to one only a couple of times. Eve has been the most accurate in all of my tests, so even though Eve is double the price, I like Eve better. Let me know your thoughts on the Akara air quality monitor down in the comments below, and thank you for watching.